Bismillah. In this video, I am going to solve Elixir IGCSE January 2021 Mathematics A Paper 1H. Number one, Peter owns a currency conversion shop. Last Monday, Peter changed a total of 20,160 rand into a number of different currencies. He changed 3 over 10 of the 20,160 rand into euros. He changed the rest of the rands into dollars, rupees, and francs in the ratio 9 to 5 to 2. Peter changed more rands into dollars than he changed into francs. Work out how many more. First, he changed 3 over 10 into euros. And the rest into dollars, rupees, and francs. So to find the rest, so 3 over 10 into euros, and the rest into dollars, rupees, francs. So I need to find the rest. The rest, 7 over 10 of 20,160. So 7 over 10 multiply 20,160. This is the rest of the rands. Equals 14,112 rands. Now, he changed the rest into dollars, rupees, francs in the ratio 9 to 5 to 2. So, that's their sum, sum of parts. 9 plus 5, 14 plus 2, 16. And we have the sum is 14,112. And we need to find the difference of rents which changed into dollars and which changed into francs. So, dollars, we need to find the amount of rents it changed into dollars. And the amount of rands it changed to francs. So to find this amount, cross multiply 14,112 times 9 divide 16. So into dollars 14,112 times 9 divide 16 equals 7,938. Rands. This is what it changed into dollars. The same to find the amount which it changed into francs. Cross multiply 14,112 times 2 divide 16. 14,112 times 2 divide 16 equals 1,764. I need the difference, so subtract. 7,938 minus 1,764 equals 6,174 rands. Number two, the table gives information about the speeds in kilometers per hour of 80 motorbikes as each bus under a bridge. Write down the model class. The model class, the class which has the greatest frequency. The greatest frequency, 23. So this is the model class from 70 to 80. S more than 70, less than or equal 80. B, work out an estimate for the mean speed of the motorbikes as they buzz under the bridge. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. To find the mean, we need to find the middle value for each class. For between 40 and 50, 45. Between 50, 60, 55. Between 60 and 70, 65. 70, 80, 75. 80, 90, 85. Then multiply the middle value by the frequency. So 45 times 10 plus 55 times 16 plus 65 times 19 plus 75 
times 23 plus 85 times 12 divide the total frequency which is 80 so divide by 80 equals 66.4 to 3 significant figure number 3 number 3 the diagram shows a container for, for, for water in the shape of a prism the rectangular base of a prism shows shaded in the diagram is horizontal the container is completely full of water Tua is going to use a pump to empty the water from the container so that the volume of the water in the container decreases at a constant rate. The pump starts to empty water from the container at 10.30 and at 12 the water level in the container has dropped by 20 cm. Find the time at which all the water has been pumped out of the container. So now the pump start to empty the water from the container at 10.30 and at 12 the water level in the container has dropped 20 cm. This means this 20 cm. So this is the volume pumped out in one hour and a half from 10.30 to 12. We can shade this part. This uh, amount of water bumped out uh, during one hour and a half. So we need to find the volume of the water bumped from 10.30 to 12. So this cuboid, its length 125 and height 20 and width 30. So to find the volume of the water, V equal length by width by height so 125 times 20 times 30 equals 75,000 centimeter cube this in 1.5 hours so to find the rate we need to divide the volume which is 75,000 by the time which is 1.5 hours so equals 50,000 centimeter cube per hour now to find the time at which all the water has been bumped out we need to find the volume of the water in the container divided by the rate the volume of the water is the volume of this cuboid and that one the volume for this one 75,000 so we need to find the volume of the cuboid at the bottom so volume of water equals 75,000 plus the volume of this cuboid length by width by height so 125 times 85 times 40 so now the volume of the water equals equals 500,000 centimeter cube now to find the time needed for all the water has been pumped out so the volume which is 500,000 divide by the rate which is 50,000 equals 10 hours now at what time the container will be empty you start at 10 30 and you need 10 hours so you will finish 20 30. number four the universal set 20 21 22 23 24 till 29 a odd numbers so a 21 23 25 27 29 b multiples of 3 so 21 
24, 27, that's it. List the members of A intersect B. A intersect B, the common between A and B, 21, common, 27, common. So 21 and 27. A union B all without repeating. So 21. 23, 25, 27, 29, and 24. Number 5, factorize fully 15y power 4 plus 20u y power 3. The first step to factorize common factor. Do we have common factor between the two terms? Between 15 and 20, we have 5. We have y power 4 and y power 3, so y power 3 common the least power now open bracket 5y bar 3 times what equal 15y bar 4 times 3y plus now 5 bar 3 times what equal 20uy bar 3 times 4u then close bracket so this is the answer B solve the equation 4 minus 3x equals 5 minus 8x over 4. You can cross multiply or 4 go to the other side multiply. Then 4 bracket 4 minus 3x equals 5 minus 8x. Expand this bracket 4 times 4 and 4 times negative 3. So equals 16 minus 12x is 5 minus 8x. Now transpose negative 8x to the other side by positive, so negative 12x plus 8x, and transpo transpose 16 to the other side by negative, so 5 minus 16. Negative 12 plus 8, so negative 4, so negative 4x. 5 minus 16 is negative 11. Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, so x equals 11 over 4 equals 2.75 number 6 a write this number in standard form we need to put this number between 1 and 10 so put the decimal point between 2 and 8 so 2.84 times 10 power what we need to Count how many digits after this decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10 bar 9. Write 2.5 times 10 bar negative 4 as ordinary number. So move the decimal point 4 places to the left. So 1 place after 2 then add 3 zeros. So 5, 2, three zeros then decimal point and zero a chain invests 40,000 yen in a fixed term bond for three years the fixed term bond pays compound interest at a rate 3.5 percent each year work out the value of chain investment at the end of three years give your answer to the nearest yen so for compound interest we have the rule a equals B into 1 plus R over 100 power T. So 40,000 times time 1 plus R 3.5 over 100 power 3 equals 44,349. Wang invested B, Yan, the value of his investment decreased by 6.5% each year. At the end of the first year, the value of Wang's investment was 30,481 Yan. Work out the value of B. So decrease by 6.5. And at the end of the first year, is this the number, 30,480. So you can say... 
6.5 minus 6.5 so now 93.5 so the new amount after the decrease 30,481 so we need to find the amount before the, the decrease so 30,481 times 100 divided by 93.5 equals 32,600 Number 8 The region shown shaded in the diagram is a path The boundary of the path is formed by two semicircles with the same center O and two straight lines The inner semicircle has radius 7, 7 meter The path of width 2 meter Work out the perimeter of the path Give your answer correct to one decimal place so to find the perimeter, the perimeter distance around the shape, so we need to find the length of this arc and that one plus the two segment. The two segment is two plus two because the same width. So this two meter and this two meter, so four. So we need to find this arc and that one. To find this arc, this same circle with radius seven. So to find the length of this arc, the circumference of the circle 2 by r so because this semicircle so 1 by r or by r so by times 7 so this is the length of the semicircle the same for that one that arc semicircle but with radius 7 plus 2 which is 9 so 1 by r or by r so by times 9 plus the two segment which is two plus two so plus four equals fifty four point three to one decimal place number nine a simplify two x power three y power five all power four distribute the power so two power four x power three all power four y bar 5 all bar 4 2 bar 4 16 now if x bar 3 all bar 4 multiply them multiply the power so x bar 12 y bar 5 all bar 4 multiply 5 times 4 equals 20 so y bar 20 bi factorize x squared plus 5x minus 36 no common factor trinomial so two brackets x squared so x times x two numbers if you multiply you get negative 36 and if you add you get positive 5 9 and negative 4 9 and negative 4 positive 9 and negative 4 if you multiply them you get negative 36 if you add them you get positive 5 now solve the same equation x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0 so this means x plus 9 times x minus 4 equals 0 so x plus 9 equals 0 this means x is negative 9 or x minus 4 equals 0 this means x equals 4 number 10 here is isosceles triangle abc d is the midpoint of ac and bd equal 16 centimeter <laughs> angle DAB equal 65 work out the perimeter of triangle ABC from this right angle triangle we can find AB we have the opposite and we need to find the hypotenuse so we can use sine so sine 65 equals 16 over AB now to find AB switch between sine and AB so AB equal or cross multiply 16 over sine 65 equals 17.65 and also we can find AD we have opposite and we need to find adjacent so 10 so 10 65 equals 16 over AD 
so AD equals 16 over 10 65 equals 7.46 now to find the perimeter of the triangle AB equal AC so 17.65 times 2 and AD equal DC so 7.46 times 2 equals 50.22 to 3 significant figure or to 1 decimal place 50.2 centimeter number 11 the cumulative frequency graph gives information about the weight in grams of 90 bags of sweet. Find an estimate for the median of the weights for these bags of sweets. So to find the median from the cumulative frequency curve, multiply 1 over 2 times the total frequency. So multiply 1 over 2 times 90 equals 45. And from 45, draw horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. Now the median, 146. So from 45, draw horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. So 146. 146. Roberto sells the bags of sweets to raise money for charity. Bags with weight greater than D grams are labeled large bags and sold for 3.75 euros each bag. The total amount of money he receives by selling all the large bags is 93.75 euros. Find the value of D. First, we need to find number of large bags. To find the number for the large bags, we need to divide the total amount by the cost or the price for the large bag equals equals 25 bags so we have 25 bags their weight greater than d so we need to find d go back for the graph to find the top 25 now go back to the graph i need the top 25 so 90 minus 25 equals 65 so the top 25 from 65 till 90. now from 65 draw horizontal line till you reach the curve then go down to find d now d 151 so d 151 12a x plus 4 over x minus 2 minus 3 over x plus 1 as a single fraction give your answer in the simplest form so multiply the denominator x minus 2 times x plus 1 and to cross multiply to find the numerator 4 times x plus 1 minus 3 times x minus 2 then simplify the numerator 4 times x equal 4x 4 times 1 is 4 negative 3 times x negative 3x negative 3 times negative 2 positive 6 over the same denominator now simplify the numerator 4x minus 3x is 1x or x 4 and positive 6 is 10 so x plus 10 over x minus 2 into x plus 1 b expand and simplify 2x into x minus 5 into x minus 3 you can multiply x minus 5 times x minus 3 first x minus 5 times x minus 3 x times x equal x squared x times negative 3 negative 3x negative 5 times x negative 5x negative 5 times negative 3 positive 15 Combine the like terms, so x squared minus 8x plus 15. Then multiply that by 2x. 
2 x times x squared so 2 x power 3 2 x times negative 8 negative 16 x squared and 2 x times 15 30 x number 13 point a has coordinates 5 8 point b has coordinates 9 negative 4 work out the gradient of a b the gradient of a b equals y2 minus y1 so 8 minus negative 4 over x2 minus x1 so 5 minus 9 equals negative 3 the straight line l has equation y equals negative 4 uh, negative 4 x plus 5 write down the gradient of the straight line that is perpendicular to l the gradient of line l is negative 4 so the gradient the gradient of the perpendicular is 1 over 4 negative reciprocal so 1 over 4 number 14 Ding is going to play one game of a snooker against each of the two of his friends Marco and Judd the probability tree diagram gives the information about the probabilities that Ding will win or lose each of these two games so work out the probability that Ding will win both will win both this means wins and wins so 0 0.6 times 0 0.9 0 0.6 times 0 0.9 equals 0 0.54 B, work out the probability that Deng will win exactly one of the games. Exactly one, maybe the first, and loses the second, or loses the first and wins the second. So, win, loss, or loss, win. So, 0 0.6 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.25 equals 0 0.16 number 15 a equal v minus u over t v is 9.6 correct to one decimal place u equal 3.8 correct to one decimal place t is 1.84 correct to two decimal places calculate the upper bound for the value of a give your answer as a decimal correct to two decimal places I need upper for A. So if I need A upper and we have V minus U over T. If I need A upper, so the numerator will be upper and the denominator will be lower. So now for the numerator, we have two quantities V minus U. If I need them upper, so I'll take V upper and U lower. So this will be upper and this will be lower. And for t, I need the denominator lower, so this lower. Now we need to find v upper. v is 9.6, correct to one decimal place. One decimal place means 0 0.1, divide by 2, so 0 0.05. So if I need upper, add 0 0.05 to 9.6, so 9.65 minus. I need u lower u is 3.8 to one decimal so 10.1 divided by 2.0.05 but now subtract 3.8 minus 0 0.05 so 3.75 now i need t lower t 1.84 correct to two decimal places two decimal places this means 0 0.01 if you divide by 2 you get 0 0.005 i need lower so subtract 1.84 minus 0 0.005 equals 1.835 so equals 3.215 to two decimal places 3.22 number 16 the diagram shows the positions of three ships a b and c ship b is due north of ship a the bearing of ship C 
from ship A is 120. Calculate the bearing of ship C from ship B. C from B. So we need to find the angle from the north clockwise. So I need to find this bearing. We can find this bearing if we can find this angle. If we can find this angle, then 180 minus that angle, we can find the bearing. So find this angle. We cannot find this angle directly because in this triangle we have two sides and included angle. Then using cosine rule, we can find BC. So BC equals square root 150 square plus 275 square minus 2 times 150 times 275 cosine of 120 equals 373.3 so now BC equal 373.3 in this triangle we can find angle ABC by sine rule 275 over sine theta equal 373.3 over sine 120 so 275 over sine theta equals 373.3 over sine 120 now cross multiply to find sine theta so sine theta equals 275 sine 120 divide 373.3 equals 0 0.638 to 3 significant figure now we can find theta sine inverse 0.63a equals 39.6 degrees now the bearing equals 180 minus theta so 180 minus 39.6 equals 140.4 equals 140 to nearest degree number 17 a solid s is made from a hemisphere and a cylinder the center of the circular face of the hemisphere and the center of the top face of the cylinder are at the same point the radius of the cylinder and the radius of the hemisphere are both x the height of the cylinder is 20 minus 4x the volume of s is v where v equal 1 over 3 by y find the maximum value of y first we need to find y itself then we need to find maximum value for y the volume of this solid equals the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder the volume of hemisphere 2 over 3 by r power 3 the volume of the cylinder by r square times the height now v equal 2 over 3 by x power 3 because the radius x plus the volume of the cylinder by r square so x square times the height which is 20 minus 4x it's given to you that this equal 1 over 3 by y. Now you can cancel by with by with by. And expand. So 2 over 3. X bar 3. X bar 2 times 20. So 20. X bar 2. X bar 2 times negative 4x. So negative 4. X bar 3 equals one third y <laughs> you can multiply all by three so y equal two x power three 
plus 60x power 2 minus 12x power 3 <coughs> combine the like terms so y equal 2 minus 12 so negative 10 so negative 10 x power 3 plus 60 x power 2 this one now I need to find the maximum value for y <coughs> y function in x to find it the value the maximum value for y find the derivative for y find dy over dx and equate by zero dy over dx the derivative for y 3 times negative 10 so negative 30 x bar 2 a derivative for 60 x bar 2 2 times 60 120 so 120 x now equate by zero and solve this equation you can solve with calculator or factorization with calculator you can solve with uh, or with factorization we can take 30x common so you are left with uh, negative x plus 4 equals 0 if 30x equals 0 this means x equals 0 and doesn't work rejected because x is the radius cannot be 0 or negative x plus 4 equals 0 this means x equal 4 so this is the value for x I need the maximum value for y so take x equal 4 and substitute in y to, so to find the maximum value for y or y max equal both x equal 4 in y so negative 10 into 4 power 3 plus 60 times 4 power 2 equal 320 number 18 given that 8 minus root x times 5 plus root x equal y root x plus 21 where x is a prime number and y is an integer find the value of x and the value of y now multiply 8 minus root x times 5 plus square root x 8 times 5 equals 40 8 times root x is 8 root x square root x negative square root x times 5 so negative 5 square root x and negative root x times positive root x is negative x now combine the like terms so we have 40 plus 8 minus 5 so 3 or square root x minus x now we need to write this form in that four so I need the root first so this 3 root x plus 40 minus x so now compare between this one and that one you can deduce that y equal 3 and 40 minus x equal 21 40 minus x equals 21 so transpose x to the other side and 21 to the left hand side so x equals 40 minus 21 which is 19 19 Solve the simultaneous equation x squared minus 9y minus x equal 2y squared minus 12 and dx plus 2y minus 1 equals 0. We have a quadratic equation and linear equation. Start from the linear equation, find x or y. Now easier to find x. So x is 1 minus 2y. Now substitute in the quadratic. So 1 minus 2y squared minus 9y minus 1 minus 2y equals 2y squared minus 12. We need to expand. 1 times 1 equals 1. The negative 2y times negative 2y is positive 4y squared. And the mid because this negative, this negative. 2 times 1, 2 times 2, so 4y. Next, negative 9y. 
if you have negative outside the bracket so change the sign or multiply negative 1 times 1 and negative 1 times negative 2 so you get negative 1 plus 2y and you can transpose 2y squared and negative 12 to the other side by negative for 2y squared so negative 2y squared and plus 12 equals 0 now combine the like terms we have 4y squared and negative 2y squared so 2y squared we have negative 4y and negative 9, so negative 13. Negative 13 plus 2, so negative 11. So negative 11y. And we have 1 and minus 1, 0 plus 12, so 12. This equal 0. Now we can solve this equation using factorization, using formula, and we can use calculator to find the answer. So use your calculator to find the answer directly in mode 5, 3 and enter A, B, C. You get two values for Y. These two values, 4 and 3 over 2. And also you can do the bracket, transpose 4 to the other side by negative. So Y minus 4 and multiply 2 by Y. Then sub 3 to go to the other side by negative, so 2y minus 3. And this is the two bracket. Now we have two values for y. For each value for y, you can find x. So x equal 1 minus 2y. So x equal 1 minus 2 times 4. So 1 minus 8. So x equal negative 7. The other value, x equal 1 minus 2 times 3 over 2. So 1 minus 3, so x is negative 2. Number 20, A and B are two similar solids. A has a volume, 1,836. And B has volume, 4,352. B has a total surface area, 1,120. Work out the total surface area of A. So A and B are similar solids. So the ratio between their volumes V1 over V2 or VA over VB equal side A power 3 over side B power 3. Or you can rewrite this at side A to side B equals cubic root of VA over VB. Now we can find the ratio between their sides. From the volume, cubic root, 1,836 divided 4,352 equals 3 over 4. Now we can deduce the ratio between their areas. So, surface area or area of solid A over area of solid B equals 3 squared over 4 squared area of solid b is given to you so we need area of a so area of a over area of b which is 1120 equal 3 squared over 4 squared now cross multiply to find area a 1120 times 3 squared divide 4 squared equals 630 centimeter square 21 a curve has equation y equal fx the coordinates of the minimum point on the curve negative 915 write down the coordinates of the minimum point on the curve with equation fx plus 3 fx plus 3 so translation 3 units to the left so the point x and y will be x minus 3 and y so apply this for negative 9 and 15 so negative 9 minus 3 negative 12 and 15 not change for 15 next one y equal one third fx this vertical is stretched by one over by scale factor one over three so the point x and y will be x and one over three y apply for that point so negative 9 same 
1 over 3 times 15 is 5. The graph of y equal a cosine x plus b is drawn on the grid below. Given that a more than 0 and b more than 0 and less than 360, find the value of a and the value of b. We know that the graph of y equal cosine x. This is the graph of y equal cosine x. Start from 1, then 0, then negative 1, then 0 and 1. The maximum 1 and the minimum negative 1. Now for the new function, we have a cosine x plus b. a, when we multiply the function by a, this vertical stretch, vertical stretch by scale factor a. To find this value of a, look for the difference between minimum and maximum in the new one. Between negative 2 and 2, we have distance 4. Between, for the original one, between negative 1 and 1, distance 2. So 2 becomes 4, so multiplied by 2. So a equals 2. And we have x plus b. This means a translation b units to the left. Translation b units to the left. So... We started instead of started one, we started from zero. So this means this curve move to the left 90 degrees because it's 90. So move to the left 90. So now you can deduce that B equals 90. 22. The function f is such that fx equal x squared minus 8x plus 5, where x less than or equal 4. Express the inverse function f negative 1 in the form f negative 1 of x equal. To find the inverse for a quadratic function, you need to put the quadratic function in the vertex form. So fx equal x squared minus 8x plus 5. Focus on x squared and x. We can write x squared minus 8x as x minus half negative 8, which is negative 4. All squared minus 4 squared plus 5 equals x minus 4 all squared negative 16 plus 5 so negative 11 this is the vertex form for the quadratic now we can write fx as y so y equal x minus 4 all squared minus 11 make y the subject so transpose negative 11 to the other side by positive so y plus 11 equal x minus 4 all squared take square root when you take square root look for the domain if the domain less than or equal so take negative square root if the domain more than or equal take the positive square root because the domain less than or equal so this negative square root y plus 11 equals x minus 4 now transpose 4 to non negative 4 to the other side by positive, so x equal 4 minus square root y plus 11. Or negative square root y plus 11 plus 4, same. Now the inverse equals 4 minus switch y to x, x square root x plus 11. So this is the inverse function. 23. OAB is a triangle. OA is 2A. OB is 2B. So this is 2B. M is the midpoint of AB. N is a point on OB such that ON to NB, ON to NB, 2 to 1. So this two and this one. So we have three parts in all. So two over three and one over three. Multiply two b. Multiply two b. So two over three times two b. So we can simplify more to four over three b. So we can write four over three b. And 1 over 3 times 2b equal 2 over 3. So this simplified to 2 over 3b. So this 2 
over 3b. Now, B is a point on AN such that OBM is a straight line. OBM is a straight line. Use a vector method to find OB to BM. The ratio between OB to BM. Now, if it is given to you that OBM straight line, so this find OB and find OM, and we have ratio between them because they are on the same straight line. They are parallel. They are coincident. So AB find OB and OM. If we found OM first, OM equals OA plus AM. OA plus AM. OA is 2A. AM have AB. But AB itself equal AO plus OB. AO plus OB. So negative 2A because opposite direction. Plus 2B because OB equal to B. So this can be written. 2A plus half into negative 2A plus 2B. Now simplify. So 2A half time is negative 2A. So negative A half time is 2B. So B, if you simplify, you get A plus B. This OM. Now also we can find OB. OB equals OA plus AB. OA plus AB. OA is 2A. AB barred from AN. AB barred from AN. So we can say AB is K, which K is a fraction, K from AN. So we can consider that AB equals K times AN. AN itself, to find AN, equal AO plus ON. AO plus ON. So negative 2A plus 4 over 3B. So K times negative 2A plus 4 over 3B. So 2A, K times negative 2, so negative 2A, negative 2, K into A. K times 4 over 3B, so K or 4 over 3, K, B. Now combine the like terms, so we have, to, we can take a common, so 2 minus 2K into A, A plus 4 over 3, K into B. Now this is OB. OMB is a straight line. So this means we have ratio between OM and OB. They are parallel. So we have ratio between them. The coefficient of A1 but the coefficient of a 2 minus 2k. So the ratio between them, 1 over 2 minus 2k. 1 over 2 minus 2k equals 1 over 4 over 3k. 1 over 4 over 3k. Now cross multiply. So 4 over 3k equals 2 minus 2k. Now transpose negative 2k to the other side. So positive 2 plus 4 over 3. So 10 over 3. k equals 2. Divide by 10 over 3. Divide by 10 over 3. So k equals 6 over 10, which is 3 over 5. k equals 3 over 5. Now k equals 3 over 5. From k, we can find OB. OB in terms of K. So OB now. Both K equal 3 
over 5 substitute by k equal 3 over 5 to find OB in terms of A and B you will find that OB equal 4 over 5A plus 4 over 5B if you took 4 over 5 common so this means 4 over 5 times A plus B but we have OM equals A plus B and OB now equal 4 over 5 times A plus B so OB equal 4 over 5 OM so the ratio between OB to OM 4 to 5 so now this 4 bars and this 5 bars so the ratio between OB to BM OB to BM is 4 to 1 because the whole part 5 and this 4 so this DM is 1 so the ratio between OB to BM 4 to 1 24 an arithmetic series has the first term A and the common difference D the sum of the first two n terms of the series is 4 times the sum of the first n terms of the series find an expression of A for A in terms of D show your working clearly so S to n equals three, 4 times Sn S to n equals 2n over 2 into 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d equals 4 times Sn which is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into d now we can cancel n with n and we can cancel this 2 with that 1 and we can divide both sides by 2 so 2 divide 2 equal 1 4 divide 2 equal 2 so now you are left with this bracket equal 2 times that 1 so we can expand this 1 into 2a 2n times d is 2nd negative 1 times d is negative d the other side we have 2 into 2a plus n times d is nd negative 1 times d is negative d now we can simplify more so to the left hand side the same 2a plus 2nd minus d equals 2 times 2a is 4a 2 times nd is 2nd and 2 times negative d is negative 2d now 2nd cancelled with 2nd we can put a together and d together so you can transpose 2a to the other side so you have 4a minus 2a and you can transpose negative 2d to the other side then you have 2d minus d now d equals 4a minus 2a is this 2a if i need a in terms of d divide by 2 divide by 2 so a equals half d